On day two of Texans training camp, heat index values once again reaching triple digits right here in Houston. And even though the players are not wearing full pads yet, one Texans linebacker is making sure he still works up a sweat. ABC 13's Adam Winkler is live in our newsroom with more. Hi, Adam. Hey, Myra Chauncey. This offseason, the Texans signed free agent linebacker Denzel Perryman. And judging by the way Denzel shows up for practice, we think he might have been confused. Maybe he thought he signed with Green Bay or Buffalo or something. Look at the way he shows up. He's got a beanie and a ski cap. We start our one-on-one -on -one conversation today by trying to get to the bottom of this getup. Yeah, so, man, I like to make myself uncomfortable. You know, that way, you know, come game day, you know, if whoever we play, you know, it's hot outside, you know, I'm ready for that. Man, I'm born and raised from Miami, so uh, the heat and the humidity, you know, is just getting adjusted to it and acclimated. And the beanie, it looks like, is kind of your thing. I, I, like, that's kind of a fashion accessory we take everywhere, right? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Though. I've been rocking the beanie for a, a long time right now. And before practice, a little pickle juice, it looked like? That part of the routine? Yeah, pickle juice, man. You got to stay hydrated. You know, you got to make sure, you know, you take care of everybody out here. You're going to cramp up, and you don't want to be that guy. Trust me. You're a Pro Bowl linebacker. I'm not going to get all up in your business, but I'm sure you had some other suitors. As best you can, why Houston? Why, why was the fit? the time right for you to come and join this club that a lot of people think is kind of on the rise. Yeah, um, man, honestly, you know, they gave me an opportunity. Uh, you know, despite, you know, my injury history or anything like that, uh, you know, they, they see me as a player. They know that I can bring to the table. Just seeing how everybody, you know, is kind of well connected. I knew some players there on the team already uh, prior to. And just talking to Coach Ryan, man, his energy, like I said, I tell him all the time, like, I just give him my helmet if you want to go out there. All right, I got to ask you about the visor. I'm fascinated by this. Yeah. Uh, I understand that you've got a few different designs. Kind of yeah. take us through the thought process and how much you enjoy that unique look out here. So shout out to my guy 2G Visors. You know, if anybody want a custom visor, go to my guy 2G Visors. That's exactly what it is. But I've been getting custom shields, man, probably for the past six years now. Okay. And, um, well, this one's Deadpool, but a lot of them just, you know, how I'm feeling, honestly. Deadpool. Now, I mean, the guy is a master assassin. Do we uh, do we relate to that a little bit, playing the linebacker position? Uh, I like to. Okay. You know, you got to have a sense of humor, you know. Um, if you ever watch Deadpool, obviously, you know, he's a clown, but when it's time to get down to business, you know, it's about business, and it's maximum effort, and that's how I play, so. Honestly, if you see me, and I'm looking at you, and, like, you see my vibes, it's not a good, period, so. All right, so Chauncey Meyer, here's the thing. As cool as that visor is, Denzel cannot wear it in a game. The NFL prohibits visors like that in a game, so he can wear it at practice, he can wear it in training camp. He tells me if he showed up with that in a game, it's a $15,000 fine. He says, as cool as it looks, it ain't worth 15 grand. <laughs>